Welcome everyone to German Tool Reviews. Today we have the Runch Dug 163254 straight jaw grip pliers. These are also known as vice grips or locking pliers. Runch Dug offers the vice grips in three different models. First, the grip pliers with wire cutter contain a slightly curved jaw and a wire cutter. This is available in three separate sizes. The perfect grip pliers contain a curved indented jaw for gripping onto pipes and hex bolts. The grip pliers with straight jaws contain jaws with no curvature to them. These are the pliers that we're going to be reviewing today. A big plus for the packaging of the unit. Simple and no more information than is necessary. After you remove the pliers you'll notice that the oil that is applied to the pliers to protect them during long term storage. This is normal and can easily be wiped clean if necessary. Unlike the picture in the catalog, these are not stamped with the Runch Dug name, logo, or part number, which I would have liked to have seen. The lower handle is stamped made in Germany, or the lower jaw has chrome vanadium in the casting. The spelling of chrome here without the E is correct for the German language. The jaws and handles are separate pieces that are attached using rivets. The release lever is coated in a plastic material similar to what is on the handles of other types of pliers. I did notice that there was one sharp burr that was missed during production of one of the bends in the top portion of the handle. Let's take a look at the adjustment screw. With the jaws fully engaged, there is approximately 12.5 millimeters or about a half inch of threads protruding. Using a thread gauge, I determined that it was an M10 bolt with a 1.5 millimeter pitch, which is considered to be a coarse thread. It most likely started out as a standard hex bolt and was machined with neural edges to function as a thumb screw. It is nice to know if the, this bolt ever gets damaged, you can replace it with any standard M10 bolt or screw. Taking some dimensions of the screw, the height of the head is around 16.35 millimeters. The remaining dimensions are quite interesting. The height of the head is around 7.5 millimeters, which is around 300 thousandths of an inch. The length of the bolt is about 63.5 millimeters, which comes out to 2.5 inches exactly. This is an unusual length for a metric bolt, as they usually come in increments of 5 millimeters. Looking back at the catalog, the clamping limits are specified as 16 millimeter for flat material and 42 millimeter for round material. In order to test this, I modeled up a disc and a cylinder in SolidWorks to match these dimensions. I then 3D printed the material in ABS. Checking the dimensions of my printed objects, they are what I consider to be intolerance. First, let's try the 16 mm disc. The 16 mm disc does clamp nicely, but as you can see, the angle of the jaws is oblique after clamping. In the catalog, this angle is shown as acute, which can be a little misleading. Where I think the 16 mm value comes from is that this is the largest material where you can still get one of the two jaws in full contact with the surface. The material thickness that would allow for the maximum clamping force is 10 millimeters. This is where the jaws are parallel and would engage the material the most. On to the 42 millimeter cylinder. The cylinder does fit within the jaw opening, but I was not able to get it to clamp to the material. I would suspect that this would be an issue for nearly all materials except for very high friction materials such as rubber. So I'm not really sure how they arrived at this 42 millimeter number. I even tried to engage it using only a half a thread of the adjustment bolt engaged. Therefore, if you want to clamp large round objects, I would suggest going with the other style grip pliers. Well, that wraps up the review of the Ronstag straight jaw grip pliers. I will post a link in the description below to high resolution photos I took during this review. I want to send a big thanks to everyone who has subscribed so far. I do plan on doing some giveaways, so the more subscribers we get, the more stuff I'll give to you all. Have a good day, everybody.